It's National Cereal Day, baby. You want to get to that poll question real quick? Yeah, you want to do it? Yeah, we'll, National we'll let cereal our first hour guests continue rolling putts in the Callaway Corner while you get to it. Real quick, what's the best cereal? This is the list we came up. We workshopped it this workshop. morning. Well, people will be mad. The because, two of you? Yes. Two oh. of you. Casey was involved. Casey, we involved everybody. Captain Crunch. Frosted excuse me. Flakes. Excuse me. I have to stop you. It's Captain, Captain Crunch. Sorry. Okay. Captain, Captain yeah. Crunch. It's C A P apostrophe N. If you're gonna, if if this is National Cereal Day, you better come correct. Okay. Captain. Captain Crunch. Captain yeah. Crunch. Thank you. Well Fro- done. Frosted you. Flakes. Fruity Pebbles. What? Honey Nut Cheerios. Cinnamon no. Toast Crunch. No, no, no. I did not want Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. We took it off. I thought we put no, it no. Lucky Charms. Casey was pro Fruity Pebbles. I also opened it up to our LABC crew. They voted Fruity Pebbles. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Fruity Pebbles. Might not even be top ten, top hundred, top hundred. Well, it's hundred, top twenty-five. Come on, uh, excuse me. Power ranking. I am almost going to go Marcellus here and revoke your Los Angeles poll question privilege rights. It would be it would be drafting. You want to go fruit? They're they're loops. Got to go loops. If you want to talk about going to a place that knows about their cereal, home of Kellogg's. What's going on, Mike? Fruity Pebbles, man. Like, I'm from Battle Creek, Michigan. My grandpa worked at Post for 43 years. We're the home of the world's breakfast table. So I'm like the Mel Kuyper of breakfast foods. <laughs> I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now that Fruity Pebbles is number one. And whatever cereal that you haven't disclosed yet is like the Ryan Leaf of breakfast foods because nothing beats Fruity Pebbles. I'm not saying it. To, hold on back, Mike. By the way, way, to, mean, way to come out hot. Tremendous. Way to come out hot. Casey is, Casey is giving me the you, in your face point over there. Yeah, in my face. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Fruity Pebbles are, are what gets, what creates the hole in, in Fruit Loops. It's the same thing. Come on now. Exactly. Who's got to go with the loops? Oh, the texture is totally different. Man, it soaks right down, and you get a good, solid bite. And I tell you what else. Around Battle Creek, Michigan, Kalamazoo, that stuff's like a cologne around here because <laughs> when you're toasted <laughs> oats in Battle Creek, Kellogg's and General Mills all still there, right. you know, you smell toasted cereal. But when Fruity Pebbles are going, you can smell it for like eight miles away. <laughs> I mean, the whole city smells like Fruity Pebbles. Do you have a favorite cereal? Yeah, without a question, I don't even know how it hasn't been brought up yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just disrespectful to the cereal. Mm-hmm. And uh, if I was them, I, I'd probably sue. Okay. Uh, you know, just a heads up. Okay. Um, waffle crisps. I mean, hands down, the best. Uh, like you, How can you pack so much sugary goodness into, like, cereal? And it just... It's not even about just the cereal. Yeah. You got to factor in how it pairs with milk. Of course. And the the waffle crisp just it, it pairs really good because like if it's like kind of crunchy, you know, you get like a more crispy waffle. But if it's soggy from the milk, you know, it also tastes good. Well, I've just been informed by our recording producer Don Bowie in my ear that waffle crisps have been discontinued. Though, are you aware of this? <laughs> <laughs> we got to fact check this. We got to fact check this. Are we are are you eating okay. outdated guess, waffle crisps? Because so, yeah, we got to be just, careful I, about this. I, I was inspired by playing Fallout as a kid. Uh, shout out to Bethesda. And uh, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. So, so so I just was inspired by you know. So I just went out and I just you know bought a couple years worth of waffle crisps. Just you know you got to be safe. You can't uh, you can't take so too many. So if, if a team wanted to throw you off in the interview setting at the combine, they should have just given you that information that waffle crisps has been discontinued. Oh, I would have been. Yeah, just... I don't even know how to react right now. So, <laughs> but, you know, I, I prepared for this, so I'm I'm, okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready for my favorite cereal? So good. Yes. I had this all the time as a kid growing up. Kellogg's Product 19. Loved it. I don't even know what that is. It's, uh, I looked it up just so I could tell you what it was. Lightly sweetened flakes made of corn, oats, wheat, and rice. Marketed as containing all required daily vitamins and iron. Great in milk. Great in milk. Product 19. I loved it. Discontinued in 2016. Just like Chase Winovich, our first hour guest, the uh, defensive end from Michigan, uh, his favorite, he said, waffle crisps. That was discontinued last year. What's with discontinuing cereals? I mean, yeah, exactly. I'm not sure. By the way, could you think of a more bland, generic name for a bland, product generic 19. cereal than Product 19? I know. It, doesn't it sound like something that got made and then had some sort of nuclear fallout around it? You According know I mean? to this article I found, uh, the name... Uh, comes from the fact that it was the 19th Kellogg product developed that year. There you go. What's up, Steven? 
Yeah, hi, Rich. I'm so excited to hash out the great cereal debate on the Rich Eisen Show. Attaboy. Live. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. You're completely wrong on the cereal. <laughs> there is no better cereal than Fruity Pebbles, except for maybe Cocoa Pebbles. I don't know, just the pebbles. I don't, I, 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 I don't. Did you not like Rice Krispies growing up either? I did. Nah. I did. I you did. had to put the sugar on Rice it. Krispies much better as a marshmallow treat than a cereal. Yes. I think that's it. Okay. I think we can agree I on that. I crackle pop, milk though. milk factor afterwards is, is there also. Lennox, your favorite cereal. It's National Cereal Day. Do you oh, eat cereal? What's yeah. your favorite cereal? I can't believe nobody said Raisin Bran. I love raisins. Nobody okay. says Raisin Bran. Uh, raisin, raisin Bran is just... Um, raisin Bran, you're a little backed up and you need to uh, you know, get it all out. That's, out. that's when you have Raisin I Bran. I love raisins. I love the sweet raisins. You just add milk, no sugar. The raisins is the sugar. Okay, so you could just do it yourself. See, you're, you're and also shredded wheats. Come on, come on. What kind of cereal are you guys eating? Well, Lennox, Not you're a professional <laughs> athlete. Okay, like, we have no nutritional yeah, value. We, we, Three we, people with no nutritional exactly. value. Come on, Bubba in Montana. What's up, Bubba? Not a lot. How are you, Rick? I'm great, thank you. I'm uh, sitting on the side of the road, plowing the road. I've been waiting for like 30 minutes. Okay, I'm glad I got to you then. I'm glad I waited. But I needed to put an outpost. There's no way that Fruity Pebbles is the donut hole of Fruit Loops, <laughs> even though I give props to Fruit Loops. As a 380-pound redneck who eats a lot of cereal, <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot downgrade the Fruity Pebbles as being that. That is a go-to cereal because you can eat it soggy or crunchy, and it tastes great no matter what. You know what? Everybody but says I do that. I need to give you this. Yes, Bob. I've ate product 19, and I'll give you a little suggestion. You should try some dried cherries with it. No sugar, just like Linux said. And it is a fabulous cereal. Bubba, I, 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 I really appreciate the passion that you have brought to this thing here. Um, so, is Fruity Pebbles your favorite cereal? Is somebody who is clearly so passionate about uh, it? Well, I'm a big cereal eater at this moment. Like, my daughter, she, me and her got, like, 22 cereals on the thing, on the counter. 22? That's our morning breakfast. We get up, we feed the horses, we eat our cereal, and we go back to work. Fantastic. Okay, so is Fruity Pebbles the number one in your mind? Yes, yes, sir, it is. Okay. Fruity Pebbles in Fruit Loops and then Rice Checks. Very good. Thank you, Bubba in Montana. And it's interesting, as we show Casey here, on television. Who is, hold, on, no, hold on a second. And you say, hold on a second. You say sports is the greatest uniter. <laughs> yes. That people could be from other parts of the country. Thousand percent. Socially, politically. Correct. Root for the same team. Yes. If you put Casey on camera again, a well-coiffed Los Angelino. Very handsome. Who on occasion puts on a winter cap indoors. <laughs> he, he, treats, like he treats a necessity, a winter necessity, as if it's an accessory. That guy, he's a that guy who works out with that sort of stuff, I bet. And a guy named Bubba, 380 pounds in Montana, who pulls off to the side of the road and it feeds his lovely daughter cereal for breakfast, feeding the horses, and then goes out to work. Those two people are brought together by the same love of Fruity Pebbles. That. I don't know what that is. It's America. America. Is that what it is? America. And I will say that with all due respect to Bubba and the Pebbles. But Fruity Pebbles are the donut hole of Fruit Loops. They are the munchkins to the donut. Fact. And I would put Fruity. I, I'd put every one of the berries. Franken. Boo. Boo. And Count Chocula. Yeah. Above all three. Uh, all three above the Pebbles. All three. According to Darren Ravel, the top-selling cereals in the United States. Cheerios, number one. Honey Nut Cheerios, well, two. Well, Omar's coming still. That's a big seller in Baltimore. Frosted Flakes, Honey Bunches of Oats, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, five. Lucky Charms, six. Oh, okay, there's Nick's. Fruit Loop, seven. Where's Product 19? <laughs> product 19, none of those. Frosted Mini Wheats, eight. Life, nine. Fruity Pebbles, number 10. It's like did not participate, Product 19. The combine. That's right. DNF. <laughs> Product 19 will be performing at its pro day. pro day. Who won our poll for best cereal? Uh, best cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, 24%. Wow. I got to try a bowl of that. Oh, my gosh. Really? That good? Yes. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.